Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for my RPG. Um, I'm going to be going over what it's like to play and host games in my RPG, um, and some of the more detailed aspects of my RPG will be covered in uh, other documentation and other tutorials. This is more of a summary. So basically, uh, first what you'll need to do is create a new login. Um, the sign-up process is very, very simple. You just have to create, um, give a unique uh, nickname and a unique uh, email address. Uh, there's no verification or anything, so just as soon as you create it, it will give you your, um, it'll accept your password and you can log right in. So as soon as you log in, you'll notice um, there's a couple messages up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Scrolling down, you'll see the live chat, which um, uh, basically chats with anyone on the website who is currently in the game lobby, and that's what this is here. We're in the game lobby as soon as you log in. Um, you also have access to private messages and to be able to edit your profile. That stuff's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll, I'll skip over that. Um, so initially what you'll see is um, when you create your new login, you're going to see a list of public games. Basically what this is, is all the games that are available um, to join if you want to play in a game and not host one. Um, once you've joined a game or created a game, it will show up in your My Games list. And um, you can see I'm Game Master of a couple games here and in a lot of other ones I'm playing in. Um, since I designed the website, I wanted to try to play in as many games as possible just to, just to get things going. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go briefly over the, um, the player aspect. When you're a player, what is it that you see and what is it, what is it you can do? Um, so, I'm just going to try to find, let's see, a good example. Um, oh, looks like he got rid of it. Crap. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's a game that actually we played for quite a while. Um, I'm just going to go into it now and initially you're going to see that um, all the chats for everybody in the game um, basically the, the way the system sort of works is it's very much driven like a play-by-post sort of a system like uh, like you would see on a forum and the difference being though that there's a heck of a lot of extra features that help you um, keep track of your inventories you can uh, you have maps um, uh, two levels of maps, in fact. Um, all this stuff is controlled by the Game Master. At the time, there was only one Game Master allowed per game, but that eventually will change. Um, so, yeah, so here's all the chats for the game that I've looked at right now. I'm, I'm in right now, rather. Um, right here, you have a list of all the other characters who are in the game with you. Um, my character's name is Keltek. Um, you can see <clears throat> if there's any pending game applications, the reason why this is visible to players is so they can have a sort of a general idea of whether or not the game master is still playing or not. If he ha if he has game applications that are pending and he hasn't shown up in a few days, probably the game is dead and it's no longer going to be played or it's suspended. Um, so the next thing is you'll probably need to be able to speak to uh, to play in your game. So very simply, there are. Um, couple emoticons you can um, choose to have a to create an out of character comment um, or an in-game comment as default um, and this is just a standard sort of message you can role play in it or you can tell the GM what you would like to do and uh, and the GM is really com in complete control of how the game works and what happens uh, the next tab over here is the location this basically describes to you your current location. Um, it gives you some images to look at um, as far as maps. And some people might just provide images like uh, paintings, mountains, uh, plains, depending on where you are. And, it, and really it's up to the GM, so the GM doesn't really need to provide all this stuff. Um, uh, and how much he, it go, work goes into this is entirely up to the GM. So you see in this case our GM here has described the location that we're in so that we don't have to ask questions all the time. We can get a lot of information from from this tab here. You can see also um, contained within this location that we're currently in are these characters here. Are, um, my, these are my party members, in fact. Um, now, if there was anything else in here that were, was, was worthy of note, like uh, items or other NPCs, they would also be listed in this. And all that, again, is controlled by, by the Game Master. Um, so if I, let's say, click on one of these people here, it goes into the character, so you can actually drill into K 
characters, items, NPCs, and locations. Um, now, of course, I can't see what's on this character's inventory, um, but I can see his parameters, at least, his, uh, his stats. And I can also see his background as well. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And if I wanted to see myself, I could either click on my character here, or I can just hit the shortcut here, which goes to just me. And it shows me things like, uh, you know, how much gold I have, how many hit points I have, and so on. Um, and in a in, later on, I'm going to show um, what it's like to, to, to set these parameters up. Um, but that's for the GM section. Um, but for players, basically, you have your list of, you know, what kind of items do you have, let's say. Um, I don't think that he is set much up in here. But it gives you a general idea of what's available, at least. Um, all these images here are provided by MyRPG, so we try to provide as many graphics to, uh, as possible to the people making the games. And yeah, that's basically it.